Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a benchmarking test comparison between Nokia 8.1, Nokia 7.1, Nokia 6.1 and Nokia 7 Plus smartphones. I have arranged the devices in the descending order of their hardware specs. So Nokia 8.1 has the best hardware specs and Nokia 6.1 has the least. All of these devices they are running on Android 9 Pie OS and we are going to have a quick look on the benchmarking test scores of these four devices and we will do a quick comparison as well. So let's start it. So the benchmarking applications we got today here, they are Antutu Benchmarking, Geekbench 4, Basemark GPU and 3D Mark. So first of all let's just start with Antutu Benchmarking and here you can have a look on the test score result. So Nokia 8.1 scored 170,200, Nokia 7 Plus scored 143,685, Nokia 7.1 scored 117,467 and Nokia 6.1 scored 91,021. So you can see that the winner is Nokia 8.1, then Nokia 7 Plus and Nokia 7.1 after that and at the last there is Nokia 6.1. If you go to the individual test score result, here you can have a look on the CPU, GPU, UX and memory test result. And as you can see in all of these four tests, the sequence is exactly same. So in CPU, GPU, UX and memory, the first spot is occupied by Nokia 8.1, after that it's Nokia 7 Plus, then Nokia 7.1 and then Nokia 6.1. So let's go back from here and let's have a look on the next test and that's Geekbench 4. This test is divided in two parts. So for single core, Nokia 8.1 scored 1816, Nokia 7 Plus scored 1634, Nokia 7.1 scored 1354 and Nokia 6.1 scored 880. Talking about the multi-core, Nokia 8.1 scored 5889. Nokia 7 Plus scored 5887. So you can see that the difference is negligible. Both of them scored exactly same points. Nokia 7.1 scored 4934 and Nokia 6.1 scored 4201. So in both of these tests, single core and multi core, once again the benchmarking test score results they are in the same sequence. So the highest, second position, third position, and the fourth position. But as you can see that when it comes to multi-core, the difference between Nokia 8.1 and Nokia 7 Plus is very minute. And the next test is Compute. In this Nokia 8.1 scored 6831, Nokia 7 Plus scored 5845, Nokia 7.1 scored 4528 and Nokia 6.1 scored 3749. So once again the winner is Nokia 8.1, after that Nokia 7 Plus, after that Nokia 7.1 and at last there is Nokia 6.1. And now let's have a look on the next test. And that's Basemark GPU. So this test is divided in two parts, official office screen and official native and once again each of them are divided in Vulkan and OpenGL. So we have already performed all of these four tests. And we are going to have a look on the test score results. So in official office screen OpenGL, Nokia 8.1 scored 1433. Nokia 7 Plus scored 1086. Nokia 7.1 scored 749. And Nokia 6.1 scored 567. So first position, second position, third position, fourth position. Now official office screen Vulcan. And that Nokia 8.1 scored 1293, Nokia 7 Plus scored 1003, Nokia 7.1 scored 734 and Nokia 6.1 scored 514. So once again, first, second, third, fourth. Now let's have a look on the native test score result. So for that in OpenGL, Nokia 8.1 scored 1330. Nokia 7 Plus scored 1000 points exactly, 
Nokia 7.1 is code 685 and Nokia 6.1 is code 566. So first, second, third, fourth. Now let's talk about the native Vulcan. In that Nokia 8.1 is code 1196, Nokia 7 Plus is code 916, Nokia 7.1 is code 665 and Nokia 6.1 is code 518. So once again, first position, second position, third position and the fourth position. So in all of these tests, performance of Nokia 8.1 is the best. After that Nokia 7 Plus, then Nokia 7.1 and then Nokia 6.1. So now let's have a look on the last test for today. And that's 3D Mark. So we got two tests here, Slingshot and Slingshot Extreme. And once again, the Slingshot Extreme is divided in OpenGL and Vulkan. So first of all, let's just start with Slingshot. So Nokia 8.1 scored 2674, Nokia 7 Plus scored 2051, Nokia 7.1 scored 1480, and Nokia 6.1 scored 1328. Now in OpenGL test of Slingshot Extreme, Nokia 8.1 scored 1821, Nokia 7 Plus scored 1362, Nokia 7.1 scored 952 and Nokia 6.1 scored 813 and if you talk about the Vulcan for Slingshot Extreme, Nokia 8.1 scored 1476, Nokia 7 Plus scored 1071, Nokia 7.1 scored 759 and Nokia 6.1 scored 829. So in Slingshot and Slingshot Extreme OpenGL, all of these devices they are in the same sequence once again. So first position, second position, third position, fourth position. But when we are talking about Slingshot Extreme Vulcan, there is slight difference this time. So Nokia 8.1 is once again at the first position, Nokia 7 Plus is at the second position. But this time at the third position, it's Nokia 6.1 and Nokia 7.1 is at the fourth position in Slingshot Extreme Vulcan test. So as you can see that in all of these benchmarking test score result, Nokia 8.1 is the best. After that, it's Nokia 7 Plus, then Nokia 7.1, and after that, at the last position, it's Nokia 6.1. As I have already said, all of these devices are in the descending order of their hardware specs. So obviously, the performance of Nokia 8.1 will be better, and Nokia 6.1 will be the least. But here, I am trying to give you an idea that how much difference you will get in terms of performance and which device you should buy based on your usage, budget and preference. So that's all for now friends, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel, hit the bell icon to get the notification for the future uploads and I'll see you guys next time in an another video. Have a nice day.